Today, we're plunging into the murky waters of moral alignments, specifically delving into one of the most interesting and complex of them all, neutral evil. But what does neutral evil really mean? How does this alignment shape a character's motivations and actions? And most importantly, what makes a character neutral evil rather than chaotic evil or lawful evil? Imagine a character who operates based purely on their own interests, skirting the constraints of societal laws when necessary and manipulating them when beneficial. They are not the agents of chaos, nor the foot soldiers of tyranny, but the wild cards whose unpredictable actions keep everyone guessing. These are the neutral evil characters. Intrigued? Stick around as we delve deeper into the motivations, traits, and archetypes of these characters. We'll explore some classic neutral evil examples from popular culture and give you some tips if you're looking to play one in your next tabletop role-playing game. But before we get into all that, we have a question for you. Which character, from books, games, or movies, do you think perfectly embodies the neutral evil alignment, and why? Leave your answers in the comments below, and let's kickstart this discussion on neutral evil. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet, so you don't miss any of our upcoming exploration into the world of character alignments. According to the player's handbook, neutral evil is the alignment of those who do whatever they can get away with, without compassion or qualms. A prime example of this alignment would be the Yugoloths. But what does it mean to be both neutral and evil? Let's break it down. Sitting at the center of the ethical axis, neutral characters neither strictly follow every rule nor seek to disrupt societal norms. They follow the rules when they align with their personal goals, find them convenient, or deem them necessary. They're comfortable bending or breaking these rules when they believe the benefits outweigh the risks. On the other hand, evil characters are often unflinching in their willingness to cause harm and misery. They lack remorse, and their motivations could stem from a number of sources, like an evil deity, a malevolent master, or a personal affinity for causing pain. Combine these two, and you have the neutral evil alignment characters who are ultimately out for themselves, using any means necessary to achieve their goals. They see laws and traditions as mere tools to manipulate others, useful only when they serve their ends. The moment these rules hinder them, they won't hesitate to break them. However, they're not reckless, they weigh up their actions and consider the potential consequences. Neutral evil characters are ruthless, seeing no wrong in betraying allies when they've outlived their usefulness or harming innocents to further their goals. They see no honor in battle and will readily strike at unarmed or weaker foes. Yet, they're not motivated to spread chaos, their primary pursuit is their own personal gain. From their perspective, they're above everyone else, unfettered by concerns for others and free to focus solely on their own ambitions. This freedom, combined with their propensity for ruthlessness, makes them terrifying figures to both allies and enemies. Before we move on with neutral evil, there are some good tips and tricks to playing an evil character without making your DM or party angry. You can learn about that in the video above. Now let's look at some examples of some neutral evil characters from TV and movies. Our first example is Khan Noonien Singh from Star Trek. Khan, a genetically enhanced human, values his own survival above all else. He's not driven by chaos or law but by a desire for personal power and vengeance. Next, we have Boba Fett from Star Wars. A ruthless bounty hunter, Fett works for whoever can afford his services. His motivation is purely self-serving and he is willing to commit evil acts without any moral qualms. Peter Baelish, also known as Littlefinger from Game of Thrones, is a master manipulator who cares only for his own rise to power. His ruthless ambition and willingness to betray allies when convenient make him a clear neutral evil character. Colonel Miles Quaritch from Avatar is a military man who justifies his brutal actions with the cause of human survival and progress. But, he's primarily driven by a lust for power and control, disregarding the inherent value of alien life. The Borg from Star Trek, a collective consciousness, seeks to assimilate all life forms to achieve perfection. They lack the chaotic nature of some evil entities and are not bound by a code of laws. Last but not least, Dr. Octopus from the Spider-Man series. Driven by his scientific ambition and thirst for power, he often employs morally questionable means to achieve his ends. He operates outside the law, but he's not inherently chaotic, marking him as a neutral evil character. Now let us look at how to play a neutral evil character. When thinking about a neutral evil character, imagine someone who always asks, what's in it for me? They make decisions based on how it will help them, and they don't worry too much about whether it's right or wrong. Here's an example, let's say this character has a chance to take a special treasure from a friend who has a lot of money. They would think about a few things before deciding what to do. First, how much money can they get if they sell this treasure? If it's a lot, they might be tempted to take it. 
but if it's not much, they might decide it's not worth it. Next, they would think about the risks. Will they get caught if they take the treasure? If there's a high chance they could get caught and get in trouble, they might decide it's better to leave it alone. Lastly, they would consider their friend. Is this friend useful to them in other ways that might be more valuable than the treasure? If so, they might decide to keep the friend and forget about the treasure. For a neutral evil character, understanding what drives them is very important. Do they want power and don't care how they get it? Or maybe they just want to get more and more without worrying about how they're doing it. Or maybe they want to get back at someone and don't care who gets hurt along the way. For example, they might use up the last of a healing potion to save themselves, even if a friend needs it more. They could even leave their team in a dangerous situation if they think they'd be better off on their own. Or they might trick someone else into doing something bad for them, to keep their own hands clean. But there are some things a neutral evil character probably wouldn't do. They wouldn't help someone just to be nice, or risk their own safety to protect others. They wouldn't give up a good deal just to stay loyal to their family. In short, neutral evil characters do what they think is best for themselves. They can be very interesting to watch or play in stories and games, because they can be unpredictable. Even though they often do things that aren't nice, they can still make the story more exciting, and sometimes they end up being the characters we remember the most. If you liked learning about neutral evil characters, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. That way, you won't miss any of our future videos about character types. Thanks for watching, and we can't wait to hear what you think.